Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to channel 48. I'm here with the Samsung Galaxy Tab S3. And uh, this device I got from Willem. So Willem, even a dikke thumbs up to you. Bedankt. Uh, hij werkt precies zoals je zei. En ja, this is a very nice tablet. Uh, however, there is no official support for this device. Only by Samsung. But Samsung ended it about in somewhere 2020. They, they just stopped. And uh, this device stayed on Android 9. Now, even though um, there is no official development for this device, we do have some unofficial development and that is by uh Oz, Oz, awesomeness or so uh, he is uh yeah in fact you can say the man of this device because uh he he created several roms i think android 9 10 uh, 11 he has a very good 11 at the moment uh, that i will not show in this video because i'm gonna show his android 12 and I'm gonna show the iPad ROM that I as well created for this device uh, based on the official uh, stock firmware, so you can call it a, yeah, a lifetime ROM, a ROM that will have everything working, all the sensors will work in, 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 in that ROM. However, the Android 12 is as well uh, in the alpha stage at this moment, and yeah, it's nice if you have this device. Uh, I'm gonna show you the exact procedure how to upgrade it from stock. Okay, I'm gonna give you the right twerp because the twerp that Awesomeness is uh, uh, giving out on his website is not was not working. In this video, uh, we're gonna upgrade the Samsung Tab S3. It's the T820 from stock. It's running Android 9, and I'm as well building an Android 9 ROM for it right now. So we as well gonna install that one, but we're gonna upgrade it uh, to yeah whatever you want to install uh, android 10 or or maybe 11 or 12 okay um these roms are being created by uh, a developer called a awesome awesomeness or so um and in fact he's the only one creating roms for this device at this moment there is nobody else okay so um let that be clear if you have this tablet um, you can upgrade it or you can stay on 9 on the December patches from 2020 if you wish you know that's all up to you but you can as well go for Android 11 uh, that has an updated build from May 2022 or you can even try the alpha build Android 12 or maybe even the um, the pet the peer pet room yes Apple pair rom that i'm as well making but then on the official stock uh, not sure if it's gonna work i'm it's it's rendering now so we're gonna see that as well but how to get started if you have this device well um it's very important that if you got this device from somebody uh, you just bought it and you got into the into the home screen it's very important that you first connect to the internet okay and five minutes later or two three minutes later you can go to info about the tablet and then software info and then you're gonna look for uh, the build number you see it here build number and then you're gonna tap it until it's saying that you enabled developers options for my dutch people uh, ontwikkeling ontwikkelaars opties gaat op build number tappen totdat u ziet dat ontwikkelaars opties uh, zijn uh, enabled and then you go back uh, to the setting screen and there at the bottom you're gonna find uh, the developers options ontwikkelaars opties uh, for my Dutch people and then you won't find no um unlock yet if you just connected to the internet for the first time after setting up uh, the Android 9 after you started it up um, but if you're already uh, on the device for a long time uh, you should have the um unlock in here and then just make sure to turn it on okay I turned it off now and now I'm gonna turn it on again it must be turned on Okay, it has to do with the security of Samsung. Uh, from Samsung, if you have an account in this thing, then, you know, it will be, be locked. 
to to that account and then you cannot just um unlock because then it's going to ask you for a password i think okay so um make sure that you have the um unlock um, turned on and then it's important that you of course with your usb c cable connect the device to a computer that has uh, a tool called Audin installed and that as well has uh, the Samsung USB drivers installed so the device and the computer can understand each other okay now um, at this point you can then um, turn it off yeah we're gonna turn it off or we can reboot it and then we're gonna reboot in a download mode so what is a download mode a download mode is a program mode uh, from Samsung and uh, before starting find out what is the volume up you see that side what you would think that is volume up is volume down and this is volume up the side of the power is the volume up what we're gonna press is volume down like that volume down home and power we're gonna hold these three until we get into a download mode okay that's what we're gonna do so let's do that we're gonna um we can hit reboot but then we must be on time okay check this out volume up home power the lights went off keep holding these three and then boom recovery booting and <laughs> i think i did it wrong i went into the recovery and that is not what we want this was volume up that was volume down okay I'm just gonna hard press uh, volume down power and and home it should listen to me i don't want to listen to it and this should be download mode okay so now we are in the download mode so <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of confusing. All right, so now we're gonna go to the part of the flashing of the tour. Welcome, we are in the computer now. Um, I have a tool called Ardin. And we're gonna open it. Because we're in a download mode, the tablet should show us that it's in a download mode. The moment we're gonna connect the cable to the computer and that's what we're gonna do in a second um, okay and there we go to them and then a blue light should go on here you see that Alright, I told you about the twerp that we need. And um, it's as well a file by Awesomeness, awesome developer Awesomeness. He's awesome. And uh, there are two versions. Um, I have the A20, and there is as well a version for the, I think, the A25, the 3G version of this tablet. Uh, as you can see, it's Turk 3.5, so I'm going to select that one, okay, the TAR is selected, and I'm as well going to select here in options to turn off auto reboot, okay, so I'm going to press start, and then we're going to switch to the tablet, I'm hitting start, and we look at the tablet, and we see that white line, you see that, boom, now it's done. So now it's standing there. What to do now? The tablet is broken. No, it's not broken. Don't worry. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put it into a recovery mode now. How to do that? With volume down and power, remember volume down is what we should think that is volume up. But when you put the tablet like this, then it's down. So effect samsung made sense so we're gonna press volume down and power and the moment the tablet goes on black we're gonna switch uh, volume down to volume up home and power okay so one more time we're gonna press power and home for 10 seconds until the tablet goes off and during it turning off 
Yeah, you have one and a half second to switch your finger from volume down to volume up home and power. And then pressing these three, and when we see the logo of Samsung, we let go. And that should bring us in the newly installed twerp. Okay, let's do it. First, we press volume down. And now we press power and we keep holding these two until the tablet turns off. Put your thumb on the home button as well. It turned off, volume up, home and power. And you let, oh. We missed it. We missed it. Oh no, we did not. <laughs> we did it, peeps. Okay, okay, okay. I thought we missed it. We did it right. Okay, we wait a second for it to uh, get active. Takes time. Nothing really happening. There's some way the twerp is not working. I'm gonna skip all the trying and I'm just gonna show you a twerp that does work, okay? And then we're gonna install it. 820, unofficial release twerp, team win recovery, 3.2, important read all of the posts, Arden, uncheck auto reboot load, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Note, since Android 5.1 is necessary to enable Umla Unlock, but of course. Update. 185 2018. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, previous builds. Okay, so. 3 to 1. I, I, I thought I already downloaded this one. No mirrors found. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, it found the mirror. There we go. Okay, so, bro, this twerp is not coming in, man. Look at that. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. It hurt me, it hurt me, it hurt me. Okay, okay. Continue, man. I'm gonna put this twerp on my, on my G drive, if you don't care, brother. Or put it on your G drive, please. This is annoying. That's why I don't post my ROMs on Android file host anymore. <laughs> I hear people cannot download, uh, no server, no this, no that. Very annoying, man. But my brother Jerry told me that, uh, that they are fixing it, so we have to see about that. All right, so there is the tour. Three, two, okay, this one we did not download yet. And we're gonna go to the machine. I hit start. I'm gonna put my fingers on volume, up, home, and power. Okay, and we press. There we go. When you see the yellow line going into a recovery, you can let go. Okay, let me see. There you go, this twerp works good. So what we first gonna do, important to do, is we need to wipe the machine we're gonna format data that's very important because it's an encrypted install 
okay you see that the red lines so and now we're gonna reboot back into recovery do not install so now we're good on our way okay boom and now we can go to the computer and now we're gonna see uh, what ROM we're gonna install uh, let's install the Android 12 or 11 I want to go for the 11 guys why because uh, we can install 12 lineage OS 19 we can but I think um, yeah the developer said it, it, it's it's still in alpha stage you know and if it's still in alpha stage then we should give the, yeah, the room a chance to grow yeah I have it here the 12 we can install it but I advise to install the 11 okay I'm as well gonna show the at least I will put a link to the 11 all right so is MTP working of this thing let me see this PC do we have yes it's working oh my gosh my drives I read again we're copying Android 12 to it so the MTP is working that is very very good okay nothing more annoying than a tablet or a device that has no MTP so you must look for cards again and things like that all right so now i don't know if this twerp is good enough for android 12 okay so we're just gonna test it out uh, this is the lineage os 19 and we're gonna flash it there we go it's installing so uh, it's looking good And uh, yeah, this tablet, I got it from Willem. So I, so I want to give a thanks to Willem. Willem, 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 Willem. And uh, he brought it with a box for me, everything, you know, and including the receipt. And I'm grabbing it now to show you that this thing, when he bought it in 2017, yeah, I'm gonna mask off his name. But this thing costed in 2017 645 euros, ladies and gentlemen. So now, uh, some years later, three, five years later, it's obsolete since 2020. So if you still have the device, uh, you don't have to throw it away. It's still a very good device, powerful device. The Android 9 as well works good, um, but it's obsolete. Officially, it's obsolete. So if no official development comes to this device, it will always be unofficial ROMs that you're gonna install. So yeah, that is the story with this device. Okay, so I know there are many people out there asking a whole lot of money for these devices, but in fact, they are not worth it. And there we go, Linux OS. 19 is booting up so nice we upgraded the tablet from android 9 to android 12. remember what i just said we as well have an android 11 with uh, the may security patches was released somewhere in may so i advise that build okay but you know just for the video android 12 on this device you know just gonna show it look at that this is how android 12 looks on it at, at least this is how lineage os looks on a tablet and there are the wi-fi networks so we have wi-fi oops i'm gonna turn off my location services i'm not gonna update the lineage os recovery Oh wait, hold on, we could skip here, skip, skip, and skip. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. 
beautiful oh with the new icons but not the new wallpapers yet the wallpapers are still uh yeah the official the US uh, wallpapers that we had well let's just give it a nice one today this one the mountains home and lock screen and there we go madame and monsieur a beautiful beautiful room for your uh, for your s3 tablet that costed a whole lot of money let's be honest okay let's be honest here you can turn on uh, auto rotation how to do that let me see uh, auto rotation where are you auto rotate is now on see that peeps and this is it a beautiful upgrade uh, of your uh, very expensive tablet uh, 600 euros yeah i would not pay it ever for a tablet you know that these kinds of money is not yeah i don't know maybe you know if i have money too much why am i saying this very nice tablet um yeah quality tablet it costs a whole lot of money so yeah you can expect quality and samsung is always giving you that quality and we see that the camera is failing okay camera is not working but this is an alpha build okay this is an alpha build of android 12. Here you can see it android 12. Treasury, beautiful, hmm? what you say? Um, but I don't think that this is uh, the best room to use uh, for the tablet. Yeah, because it's still in alpha state, okay? So I will link to uh, the other room. Uh, you can go check it out yourself, how that uh, looks. It's uh, just Lineage OS, but then Android 11. Uh, so yeah, that is it. Um, I as well have another ROM that I want to test and install on this tablet because I'm gonna run that ROM. Um, I just finished it. And let me get it and copy it to the tablet. Give me one second, please, ladies and gentlemen. Samsung Tab T820, the pet ROM copy and let's connect to mtp charging this device oh this feels so nice i never had a tablet running uh, these high builds uh, of android yet what were we doing oh yeah oh i see that um mtp is not working Okay, the MTP is not working. So uh, it's not a problem. Uh, I'm gonna copy the RAM in the recovery mode. So I'm gonna go into recovery mode the moment it turns off, it's still restarting. Yeah, and now we can go for it. Yeah, go into recovery. And then I'm gonna flash the RAM that I just made for this thing. It's, uh, I'm gonna use this uh, device to colorize videos, so I don't have to do it on a computer, I can do it on an iPad. Alright, so um, let's first do advanced wipe down fix system data and catch. Okay, it's uh, encrypted, so we're gonna format data, we say yes. And then we're gonna reboot back into recovery. Do not install. And we wait for the iPad room to, I mean, the tablet to arrive. In my computer environment. Yes. Okay, there it is. 
the T820 and I'm gonna copy the pattern to it. And the pattern is uh, based on the last official ROM from Samsung and then without blood and with some applications that I want to have in the ROM and different look and feels probably a different startup sound and things like that uh, so yeah I'm gonna install that one now because that is for me to test this tablet and to have all these applications and sensors working okay that's why I'm doing this all right because there are some issues with uh, some sensors they are not working with these ROMs so yeah I want to install my own ROM it has uh, everything working I hope I never booted it yet just finished it so this thing is standing in its underwear in front of uh, a world audience everything can go wrong and if it does I will not delete it I will just <laughs> leave the video it's funny to see maybe instead of cutting it out system image oh. oh you scare me no man eh, eh. okay flashing the kernel okay results is uh, good we wipe a little catch and we reboot last system do not install let me see if it's gonna boot okay we're gonna boot the tablet peeps and see how this ios rom kind of looks if everything went right i did not test this rom yet i just finished it let me remove these cables oh there we go we have uh yeah how do we call these apples uh brother these are flat apples this is a flat apple <laughs> this is a, a a cross between uh <laughs> i think uh a pear and an apple okay so this is uh how we're gonna call this room we just gonna call it ios styled room ios 14 styled room for the A20, a thing like this was never created yet. So, boot up uh, takes a bit. In fact, I can skip the boot up time to make this video even shorter. Um, we can as well look at it, but I think that is maybe a little bit boring. Uh, so, boot up time will be about uh, in the test build, it was about five minutes. It almost looks as if it's not gonna boot okay um just when you hear the started sequence then it takes a couple of minutes to go all right so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna let this this boot and the moment i'm gonna see some lights popping up here at the bottom then it's gonna take about 30 more seconds before we will actually arrive into the setup screen from Samsung because this is in fact a Samsung ROM development is by Samsung so all credits for this ROM goes to Samsung um, I call it a lifetime ROM it can come in all sorts of you know um, 
yeah, variants. This is the Apple variant, but it can as well come as, as, as Lineage OS, but I must still create that UMG Lineage OS uh, boot animation. It can come as a pixel, you know, uh, it's about the firmware itself, the engine itself is by Samsung, uh, was made for this device, was the last build uh, of Android 9 for this device. It's outdated, okay? Um, only thing that is uh, kind of cool about this ROM is that you can install it from Outwerp. It's official, so everything works. All sensors are working. Um, and uh, for me, I had to go for this ROM because after trying to see if my um, my Deoldify colorizing app would work, uh, I found out that it would not uh, work so good yet on uh, Android 12. So that's why I made this ROM. In fact, for myself, uh, whoever wants it, uh, I will share it with you. You know, that's all good. Uh, but that's why I'm, you know, and yeah, I just had all these uh, tools on my computer. So I just made the iOS style, but it could be any kind of room. All right. So <laughs> a lot of talking. I'm just going to let this boot and then I'm going to get back to you. It booted. Oh, that is so amazing. It booted. Man, man, man. I'm very, I'm very, very, very happy to see that. Very nice. So it takes a little bit to boot, okay? Give it, uh, give it some time. Now I'm gonna put it on English. United States. I agree. Next. Skip for now. Next. Here. Boom. Skip. Next. Do not allow. Accept. Not now. Skip anyway. Skip. Skip anyway. Skip. Finish. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Hold your breath. Boom. <laughs> See that? Lovely ROM. With lots of functionalities. Uh, but to use this ROM, the first thing that you're gonna do is connect to the internet. Very important. No, Bluetooth can stay off. Let me connect to the internet. Why is connecting to the internet so important after you reached the home screen? Well, this is an encrypted system, all right? And this software is in fact the official firmware from Samsung. Everything is still in it, except the bloodware. Uh, even Nox is still in it. You know, I did not uh, remove uh, encryption. So your device is, you can encrypt, everything is the way it should be. However, uh, it as well depends on a stock recovery. If you don't connect to the internet and you're gonna reboot the tablet, you know, without connecting to the internet for the first time, the device will be bricked. And the only way how you can then fix it is to go and install the complete official firmware first again and then you know go and turn on um unlock after you connect it to the internet so it's very very important that we connect to the internet for the um unlock and secondly 
to update the applications that at this point some of them are not working yet they must first be updated to the latest before they will start functioning and we're gonna connect connected no internet that will come soon <clears throat> all right so um we're connected um now we gonna first the first thing that we're gonna do is look for the aurora store and we're gonna open that one it's very important okay it's the very first thing that you must do allow and then accept and then next and here you must grant permission allow and here you must as well grant permission so it can save things for you okay and then finish then you can get in as anonymous let it load and then the first thing you're gonna do is hit updates at the bottom And here you're gonna see that certain things must be updated. Uh, stuff that really need to be updated are for instance Magic Earth uh, navigation that is built in. Uh, I think maybe Flipboard. Um, let me see, oh yeah, uh, the Duck the Go. So this one should be updated. Uh, Flipboard you can update. I would update Chrome, very important, because I'm gonna need it for I'm going to need it for uh, for the Oldify. I'm going to update NPO as well. The Samsung browser, yeah. I think we can as well update it. Here, yeah, NPO. It's being updated. Magic Earth is being downloaded. And will be installed now. There we go, Magic Earth installing. Google Chrome just arrived. You can as well select update all, but you know, I'm only showing you the applications necessary to be installed or to be updated and uh, that's Chrome if you don't update it it won't work at least it will work but uh, not for me because I need the latest build so I can run my uh, let me see where it is I don't even see oh here it is my colorizing app let me see if it works. Accept it. I hope that the web view is uh, good enough. This may not work in your browser. Please use supported browser. Yeah, maybe I must change the web view. I'm gonna see what I can do to make this work. So yeah. I had more success on Android 13. This is uh, TV, Dutch TV for my Dutch people. Many Dutch people have these tablets. So I made this room in a way that the Dutch people can as well out of the box enjoy it and watch uh, the TV and news and things like that, you know? You can see it works uh, it works out of the box uh, I as well have uh, another app this one here and here we have about a hundred uh, channels that we can watch especially the news and so here you must agree 
and uh, now you can watch whatever you wish out of these hundred channels you see that all works um, this is kind of iOS styled so you can as well call this an iOS ROM I'm not sure if the phone works I don't think so this thing should have no phone sign into your account what is this kind of app we don't have no phone and uh, how can I what can I do with this hide or so hidden app boom and this one we as well don't need hidden app because these things don't work magic earth uh, yeah this is our nephew and it will it will work after we updated it in the aurora stores probably still updating it's never installed yet Okay, Magic Earth is now installed. It's installed now. Now it should work. You see that? And GPS works out of the box. Eh? After giving permission. It must search for a second. It will be right there. Don't you worry about it. Google Chrome. Hey, okay, Google Chrome is installed. So probably my the old file will work now. Loading. Yes. My the of my the old file works. I can now, uh, very satisfied, get out. Here, you see that? I can set up my pip, my things. So I can colorize uh, videos with this tablet. That's amazing, amazing, very amazing. You see, so this app, it depends on a good browser, okay? No good browser, you can forget about it. This is our radio, our radio recorder, with the best hits. Very nice. All countries of the world are, uh, are out there, so you can find them all, peeps. Uh, check it out, okay? This is very nice ROM. Um, and little bloodware as you can see and the only bloodware that I see here is game launcher don't know what it is but you can as well long press and then just hidden app you know Samsung members long press uh, hidden app maybe you can as well turn it out uh, off in the in the application manager here for stop but yeah you can you see this one you cannot turn off so not to look at it just hide it um yeah duck the go uh, another browser privacy browser as well available in the system so you have three browsers the chrome this one and uh, the samsung browser okay always good to have several browsers trust me really uh, we have gadgets on board that we can add from here okay we can get a nice battery widget create I'm gonna put it like this peeps because uh, I don't want it to fall you see so now we have a nice little uh, iPad uh, ROM for this thing as well because I don't see people creating these kinds of uh, <laughs> these kinds of ROMs most of them hate Apple so yeah I don't hate Apple I'm good with Apple this is uh, yeah you can here with swiping up 
immediately go home. You see, if you're somewhere and you want to go home, just swipe up. You don't need to press the button. So that's it for this room. Um, yeah, I love it. Nice device, uh, great device. This is uh, yeah, a device that I did not have before. And as you can see, everything works good. That's because this is official. Ham radio is as well working. So peeps, um, yeah, well, that was it for this room. I'm not gonna make this video even longer. It's, it's way too long already. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this upgrade video. I say, uh, let's just go back to the studio. Yeah, that was it. I want to thank you for watching. I hope that this information was useful. If it was, leave this video a thumbs up. Okay, subscribe to my channel if you did not already. The more thumbs up you give to my videos, the more motivated I feel to still create videos for this channel. Okay, I'm gonna be really honest to you because I'm as well busy with another channel and it, that channel is inspiring me a little bit more than this channel. That while that channel has only nine subscribers, <laughs> you know? Um, so, yeah. If you want this channel to stay active and you want to see uh, roms and things coming more often and other information coming more often to this channel um, make sure to at least support my videos because if i see that my videos are hanging there with some likes and and some stupid replies then i'm just gonna go do something else on tiktok i as well have more fun than here on youtube honestly i'm gonna tell you that it's it's the truth you know, more response of the people, nicer people, people more open. You know, I feel that you guys are also, I don't know. Yeah, you have attitudes, I think. That's what I feel. So uh, if that is not the case, uh, convince me and uh, let me see uh, more love from off your side. And uh, yeah, for me, it's very simple, guys. If something is not uh, interesting for me anymore, I just quit it and I just go do something else. I do so many things in life, you know, so I never feel that I'm leaving out something. I can, you know, just leave my YouTube for a week and I don't upload any video and I see that the numbers go down and I don't care. I'm still laughing. I keep laughing because I'm always busy with other things that as well make me very happy. You understand? So this is your channel, and if you don't take good care of it, you know, it's just gonna get, yeah, how can you say? You will ask questions and you will not be answered. And maybe one day you're gonna come to my, to my videos and you're gonna see that all the replies are shut down because I don't want to talk to anyone anymore uh, that visit this channel. You know, I just want to make videos and then I just shut off uh, the likes and, 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 and the comment section and then I'm done. Then I, you don't, I don't care. I talk to many other people in life every day. So I'm not missing out. Okay, you're gonna miss out the moment I decide to not be active on this channel anymore and have more fun on other channels, you know, or maybe even other platforms. So it's all up to you. So have a nice day, stay well, God bless you, and uh, you'll be seeing you.